EA Sports and the PGA Tour are proud to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From the Quail Hollow Club in Charlotte, live third round coverage of the Wells Fargo Championship. Well, if yesterday was any indication, we should be in for a memorable weekend of golf here as we take in the leaderboard on this Saturday. The former Texas Longhorn Scotty Scheffler is the leader. He's at 11 under. Our featured golfer right in it, just a couple of shots off the pace. And that a wonderful tee shot. It's in the fairway here to get this Saturday started. Well, had a good look at the green, but couldn't hash it in. In the rough now, wondering what might have been. I think I'll be fairly pleased with that, Frank. What do you think? I certainly do. It was so, so good. Okay, that's in for par here at the first. And he'll stay a couple of shots off the lead. Now to the second hole, the par four, and Frank, what's in store for the players? Uh, opposite shaped hole to the opening hole. This one dog legs to the left, and those enormous oak trees uh, really become a problem with the tee shots. So no use trying to go over them uh, or around them. Just follow the fairway and play your second shot back uphill. Another good tee shot for him to start the round as he gets another fairway here at the second. Walking the course today, let's bring in Nota Begay the third. Looking at 153 to the hole, pole cut right in the middle. This one has a chance to be close. Ah, good shot. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. Ten foot putt left.
Nope. That finished off for par here with the second. And he's going to stay two back. Well, from the tee, you can see plainly what you need to do, or in this case, not do. You don't want to hit it in that fairway bunker in the landing zone here at this 483-yard hole. It is the par four third. Right, in the fairway. So a breeze at his back as he readies his second to the par four. And a good iron shot, just not quite as close as what we'd all want to finish, but still. Look here at birdie. Not a whole lot of movement in this one. It may come a little bit to the right. He's going to have to be cautious of the slope, though. Absolutely perfect there, down the slope, it's in for a birdie. And he'll get it to one under for the round, ten under for the tournament. Here now at our first par three at Quail Hollow, the 167 yard fourth. Cover the three bunkers guarding the front, hold that green, and you'll be putting for birdie. Now from the bunker. Yeah, just a little splash out on this path, right? Line may have been a little more sunken in than we had thought, but all in all, not a bad shot out of the bunker. That's in. It is a good par here at number four. And he's going to remain at 10 under. Back to another par four, the fifth. Frank, what's the challenge here? It's a dogleg right that uh, goes back up the hill, Rich. It should have been a wide fairway, but what Fazio did that was, uh, I, I think, very, very clever, he put one bunker on the left side, as you can see, that is about 330 yards to get past it. 
And those two bunkers on the right, so what was a wide fairway has all of a sudden shrunk down to the position exactly where you want to hit it. And that, a good looking shot there, well placed in the fairway. From the fairway Noda, this is second. 160 gets him to the hole, pin all the way on the right. That's a good shot, and more importantly, too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. 18-footer. Nope, not enough. Needed to get that a little further out to the right. That one finished off. It is a part here at five. And he'll remain right where he is. Strap in, folks, because we have arrived at a par three that is all you can handle. 249 yards sixth, better than 230 yards to the front of the green with bunkers front and back. Good luck. That was obviously well struck, but it came in a little too hot, and that one's going to run out and leave him a much longer birdie putt than he would have hoped for. One's tracking on a very good line. Legal. Oh, never a doubt. That one was tracking the entire way. It is in for a spectacular birdie. And he's into double figures now at 10 under par. Two under on his round. All right, so coming off that tough 249-yard par 3 sixth, get a chance to maybe get one back at the reachable seventh. It's a par 5 at 546 yards. No problems there. That's going to wind up safely in the fairway.
two solid shots at the par five and found the green side bunker. Lie looks good. Now, just needed a good bunker shot. ideal result they're hoping to maybe get this close it is on the green but not where you want to be birdie putt coming up and we go to iona steven and this really is all about visualization you've got to see the line in your head pick out a spot maybe a foot foot and a half in front of you and aim for that Yeah, tough to get that all the way up the slope, but that's not too bad from there. That one finished off. It'll be a par here at seven. And he'll remain one shot back. Short par four eight. Frank, as a commentator, as a fan, I love seeing guys go for it on a short par four, try to get to the green. Is it a good idea? We're going to find out very, very quickly, but I, I, I love the moxie, though. I mean, the fact that people want to try and do this, that's what this game's all about. Give it a go. Laying up gets you nothing. about hitting the fairway here and that is right where you want to be second shot now from right at a hundred yards That's a bit of a head turner, really. That was a green light situation from that distance and you know, far from the best shot I've seen today. ball away from going in very well read okay that in for par here at the eighth and he'll stay at 11 under par Again, good flow to this golf course, good variety. So coming off that drivable par four eighth, we now arrive at a super long par four. It's the ninth and it's 505 yards. You're not driving this one. Oh, that was a beautiful golf swing right there. Everything working in harmony and a great result in the fairway. 
this will require a good strike of the golf ball to pretty long shot into this par four ninth. Now this for birdie. And a really tricky look here. Tough side hill putt. He's got to push it out to the right and just let it drift its way back to the hole. ready to walk that in. That looked on target the whole way. Okay, that's in for his par here at the ninth. And that finishes off a strong front nine. It's a 33, two under par. Beginning the inward half now with a par five tenth. It's not quite 600 yards, but it is close. It's a pretty good hole, Frank. It is. The only thing really in the player's favor is it plays downhill, so not quite its full yardage. Avoid that bunker on the left. We'll give you a chance to go for this par five and two. But also look down there. If you look very, very closely on the left side, just short of this bunker is a nice layup bunker. If you can't reach, avoid that. And no issues there. Good tee shot in the short grab. Still better than three bills away as he puts forth his second to the par five. Third shot coming up now from the bunker. Well, gonna get a chance to try that again. Good little bunker shot, just splash it out, let the ball run towards the flag. Oh, the hands came through beautifully there. Good thump of the sand and a good chance to save par. So that's in for par to start this backside. And he's going to remain one shot off the pace. This par 4 11th at 462 yards with a slight dogleg to the left is all about positioning. And with one good tee shot, you carry the corner and avoid that bunker right at the elbow. 
you're going to be able to attack and maybe walk off with a birdie three. Yeah, that's a good tee shot right there. Got a little extra run out. That's where you want to be. Now, Noda, his second from the fairway. He's got 159 yards left. Pin in the right front. Well, I don't have my tape measure out, but that looks like, uh, what, six, seven feet in there? But that is an excellent approach shot. Seven feet now for birdie. ball online all the way it's a birdie here at 11 and he'll move to three under here just one shot off the lead part four 12th hole is pretty to look at but you can't stare at it too long frank because it demands all of your attention very much a corridor of a par four down there i don't think you have to hit driver down here you see a lot of players in the tournament they'll only hit three wood just find the fairway ball will kick a little bit to the right um, the reason why you don't want to miss this fairway or miss with the trees is because this green is built up and it has the two bunkers that narrow the front entrance. So a fairway you must find. Turn it out to be a wonderful Saturday of golf here and this Another fine tee shot. Frank, we always say about Quail Hollow, you have to play with a clear head. You have to be thinking your way around this golf course. So what's the right thought process on this second shot? Keep the ball in the right section. Um, you know, that front portion there, you can't afford to go long when the flag's there. Conversely, when the flag's in the back, you can't afford to be putting up and over that ridge. So you've got to be um, flying that ball all the way back there. And safely on deck. That's the main thing, but from that distance, you really don't want to leave yourself like a knee knocker, like a four or five footer. So this first putt's going to have to be good. Done. Two straight birdies here early on this backside. And he'll move to 13 under par for the tournament. All right, here's the first par three on the backside here at Quail Hollow. It is the 208 yard 13th hole. Up next, the first par three on the backside here at Quail Hollow, 208 yard 13th. Carry the bunker front left, and a chance at birdie is yours. Yeah, that's a popular spot. He'll have that for his birdie at 13. 11 feet away.
just needed a little bit more, but he couldn't quite get it there. Okay, safely in for par here at 13. And this will stay a one-shot lead. Now to the par 4, 14th. It's only 344 yards, not long by today's standards. But, Frank, everywhere you look, there's trouble. Exactly. Um, and a lot of people just sort of pull the head cover off the driver and they try and fly it on the front edge of the screen. You actually don't have to do that. You can take a three-wood, land the ball about 30 or 40 yards short, and just let the ball run just short of the green. And it's a fairly straightforward up and down of just about anywhere on the screen. If you hit driver, you've only got one chance, and that has to be perfect. So maybe an opportunity here from just off the front of the green. This is for Eagle. Didn't check, Frank. Yeah, just not enough spin on that, um, really. I mean, that almost like took that first bounce and just ricocheted forward. I think I'll be fairly pleased with that, Frank. What do you think? I certainly do. It was so, so good. Okay, good putt. And a par here at 14. It'll hold tight at minus 13. This is a cool hole right there. It is the last par five on the golf course. Just stunning. 577 yard 15th at dog legs to the left. And you can see the second shot is over the water. This one will test your game and your nerve. I'll tell you what, that swing absolutely perfect and a good result as well. Okay, pretty good shot right there. Didn't quite release all the way out after landing in the fairway, but still, chance for an up and down birdie at this par five. Five feet now for birdie. Ah, yes, never in doubt. It's a birdie here at 15. 
And he's got it to 14 under par. Now to the 16th hole, it is a better than 500 yard par four, and it begins what they call the green mile. It is as tough a finishing stretch as you will find anywhere in golf. And it's also beautiful to the eye when you stand on that 16th tee. It does play downhill nearly 10 yards. So that bunker on the right side is 320, take away the 10, so it's about 310 to carry. If you can take that line, you will chew so much off this hole. And then the second shot also is a little down breeze and it has like an infinity edge. You can't see the back of this green. What a great way to start the green mile. Turning out to be a wonderful Saturday of golf here and this, another fine tee shot. He'll be factoring in this breeze in his face as he sets for a second. That one was running so hot. This is an 11 foot putt. Oh, right on line all the way. It is a par here at 16. And he's going to stay too clear of the field. Next up is Quail Hollow's signature hole, the 190-yard par 317. Tee shot playing almost entirely over water to a peninsula green. The bunker on the right collects many bailout tee shots, inviting disaster with a poorly executed explosion shot. A tester, to say the least. And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass.
Oh yeah, worth an exhale there. That's a good par save here at 17. And the lead's gonna remain two. Here we go, the par 4 18th, the final 494 yards of this green mile, and it is no walk in the park, is it, Frank? No, and the decision you have to make on the tee as well, Rich, you can see the stream all the way down the left side, plus the bunker on the right. So the decision is, do I hit three wood or something just short of the bunker, around 290 yards, or do I have a club that can go 320 to the narrowest part of the fairway? So, fairway, longer shot, risk, shorter shot, your decision. going to be a real headache over here. That is left of the creek. I can't imagine trying to get this ball to the green. So likely no chance to spin this one as he gets set for his second at 18. Well, obviously he can do better, and he's going to have to on this next putt if he wants to just get out of here with bogey, Frank. And this one's certainly going to be, uh, well, worth the price of admission. Okay, a shake of the head as that one is finished off. And that's going to drop his score back to 12 under par. So for the golfer we've been watching, it will all be on the line tomorrow. It is a tie atop the leaderboard after 54 holes, Frank. And with 18 holes to go, it's really hard to pick the player that's going to stand out. It, 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 it could very well come down to one loose shot or perhaps something great. So that should just about do it. For all of us at EA Sports, thanks for spending some time with us on the road to the Masters.